Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marko of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Now, this morning, I'd like to capture my, my thoughts with the words, smart greed. Smart greed. The Bible is full of stories that are very, very interesting, but they hold very powerful principles for us. For example, God spoke to Abraham and told Abraham, leave her of the Chaldees and leave family, leave everybody to a place I'll show you. And God said, look, Abraham, my eye is on you. My covenant is with you. And then he told him, it was very specific, leave everybody, leave family, leave kindred, leave brethren. But you know, when Abraham was going, he had a nephew with him. And that nephew, you know, um, the, 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 the parents, I guess, were there or something like that. So he said, look, let me just take my nephew along. So Abraham took Lot along and it, 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 it was on God didn't want him to do that, but he took Lot along. And when he took Lot, and they were on the way, I mean, when they were going, God began to prosper uh, Abraham, and Lot was also prospering. And Lot's headsmen were prospering, and Abraham's headsmen were prospering. And Abraham was very generous, you know. The covenant was with him. The promise was for Abraham. The blessing was Abraham. But you see, by virtue of attachment, by virtue of the of relationship, Lot was also a beneficiary of the of the blessings. So the largess of God for Abraham, Lot became a partaker by virtue of association and by virtue of connection. Now the Bible says there was one time there was a fight between the, the headsmen of Lot and the headsmen of of Abraham, and. I, I, I was surprised at that, that whole conversation that went on. It was Abraham who called Lot and told Lot, hey, what, are, what? No, 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 no. He said, look, we are kinsmen. Why are we allowing these people to bring a fight between the two of us? I personally believe, by principle, it was, it was Lot's responsibility to rebuke his headsmen and say, what are you doing? Don't you dare. Whatever they want, just let them have it. Why? Because I'm a beneficiary of his promise. I'm a beneficiary of his blessing. I'm a beneficiary of, you know, the blessing that God has given to him. So it's also touching me. Now, Lot didn't do that. But Lot watched his headsmen fight to the headsmen of, of Abraham for grazing grounds. And a Abraham called Lot and said, look, let's not fight. We are kinsmen. It shouldn't be. Choose left and I'll go right. Choose north and I'll go south. He said, the land is big for all of us. I mean, hey, Choose any place and I'll go the opposite direction. Now here's my principle number two. It is the responsibility of Lot to say, Papa, I beg you, please choose. And whatever you choose, the rest I'll take. That was Lot's responsibility out of respect. But the Bible said when Abraham spoke, the Lot looked and saw the plain fields of Zohar and all those towards going towards Sodom and all. And there were lush fields. And there were nice fields and there were, I mean, the greenery was, was something else. That was a, that was a, a verdant pastures, verdant pastures. And Lot said, I, we looked at it and said, oh, my, my uncle is not, ain't that smart. He should have chosen first, but if he ain't smart enough to ask me to choose, well, let me choose the place where his greed clouded his sense of responsibility. His greed clouded his sense of principles. I mean, his greed overshadowed his principles, laid down principles of respect and reverence. His greed made him think that, well, I can be smart. That's what greed does. Greed pushes you to become smart. So where Lot chose, now he towards Sodom, but in the end he landed in Sodom. And he became a gate man, a big man in Sodom. See what happens. He lost everything. You know, sometimes, we think that, I mean, greed makes you think that you are better off or you're smart. Greed makes you think along the lines of, I'm smarter than this other person. So I want to smart the person. Greed makes you throw away the principles of win-win. Greed makes you th throw away the principles of fairness, justice, integrity, and respect. That's what greed does. And sometimes, you know, you, you never get satisfied. And, and you keep gouging yourself on, on, the, on the plate of greed. If you gouging yourself, gouging yourself on, on, the, on the plate of greed. 
until you end up losing everything. I saw the story of a, 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 a kinky party, you know, a, a kinky competition where people were asked to, to eat. And there was one guy who really, I mean, he likes kinky, I hear. And then he sunk his teeth into it and then he was eating the cake. He was eating, you know, man, when he saw that he just keep gorging himself, gorging himself with it. Then he goes somewhere. <laughs> After that, he's sitting somewhere. He becomes very sick and throws out everything. And he then had to be taken to hospital for everything to be removed. He took in a lot, but in the end he lost everything. That's what Lot did. His greed made him think he was smart, but in the end he paid a price. Greed doesn't make you smart. To be honest with you, and with all due respect, greed makes you stupid. And in the end you pay a price for the greed. So you know what? The choices are always yours. I guess so. See you later.